Now let's see if I can get this one without getting interrupted 500 times. <laughs> the last few days have been so busy for me. Ah, that release and breathe. Our goose snack had been sitting on rotten eggs for over a month. We didn't want to remove them because we didn't really know if they were fertile. So every day I checked and checked again. She wasn't coming out of her box. Until Tanya and me counted the days and it had been way over the time they were supposed to hatch. And the smell was so horrible. We had to get her out of the box so I could remove the eggs. She was getting sick. My heart was breaking. Mama's too also. So I had to take the eggs home and every single one of them was rotten. So needless to say, on Friday morning, I set off to find my Princess Naculus a baby. At first, they had said they only had Toulouse goslings left. But when I arrived, they had one Chinese gosling. They couldn't sell it because it wasn't paired. But you know, I have a way with my words. So I got one Chinese gosling for Nack and two of the last Toulouse gooslings for me. Let's just say my Princess Naculus is so happy. She is a natural mother. She had been nesting for so long. She was mourning for someone to share her days with. It made our house. It made our hearts so happy. Now I have two geese with me, and I have named them Otis and Etta, after my two favorite soul singers. Not sure if what sex they are, but it's okay with me. I have been working on a coop for two days, and I shall say my building skills have come a long way. How proud my dad would be. But these little goslings are healing my heart and mind. When Nack moved back to the creek to Mama Two's, I had missed our daily talks and her honorary ways. I have found laughter again with Otis and Etta. They listen and follow me around as if they need me as much as I need them. When I have to take a shower, I have to put on my podcast so they can stay by the porch and they listen to my voice until I reemerge to waddle in the yard with them. My senior citizen cat came over yesterday to sit in his spot by the pump house. I am still not sure what he does over there, but he came to meet Otis and Etta. He warms my heart. He always watched after Knack when she was here. He is, he is one strange cat. But as I said before, he used to live here with the old man's son who passed away in this house. Now he is um, Mr. Grimstead's companion. I watched that old man keep peeking over to see my geese. I said nothing. Still waiting for the hillbilly hag to tell him to say something to me. Not that I'm looking for drama, you understand, but I will have my say, you best believe. I keep walking them down the line between his house and mine, explaining how they cannot travel over that line. They listen and just talk and talk. Oh, my heart is at peace with my little foul friends. It's like they understand every word I say. I used to watch Mr. Grimstead talk to Knack all the time. It was so funny to see him sitting back and watching as I said before, it was his girlfriend that didn't approve of my geese. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I could give two fucks what that old bitch thinks seriously. I was going to put up the electric fence, but then that senior citizen cat might get zapped, and that, that frightens me. Because I think when he comes over, he may be talking to the ghosts that reside within my home. And I enjoy that cat's company on my blue days. So I'm going to put flags down the line. Hopefully, Otis and Etta follow the rules. If not, I will have to zap the shit out of them. It's the only way. <laughs> I will not get rid of my geese anymore. It is very funny how fast geese imprint with people. Nack is imprinted with me and Tanya. We are the only ones she trusts. It is a shared custody of a goose. I shake my head in delight over this. Now, Otis and Etta have to hear me. Or they have to have me in their sight 24-7. I am grateful for these little things in my life. So my story continues. Rob's trailer is almost complete. He has invested so much time and money into this place it sickens me. And has enraged the beast in me. But I shall say I will be happy when he is finally gone and I can get started on this place. I'm getting better with fixing things. But with him here and his shit everywhere, I cannot start on even the simplest of things. Yes, my house is definitely coming along. Painting the old windows sure has made this little house shine. Pulling up the carpet made me feel so much better. The floors have seen better days, but as I say, it's all in a day's work. 
I am excited to start on the demo of this little house, opening doorways that were once there, finding windows under siding. And I feel as if my house and I am taking our power back. Now, on to the lessons at hand. Under this full moon, I will say I hope he succeeds at his dream. And I hope he shows his boys some responsibility. They say sometimes you have to lose something to know it's worth. I believe that to be true. So with the full moon, I send blessings big and bright for him to find the light and for him to be at peace. Maybe he will finally awaken and see the grass ain't always greener on the other side of things. But we have done enough damage to each other so much that it truly leaves holes in my soul. And I need my children to not cringe every day he comes home. Everything will be okay. I trust in the universe to show the way. So for today, I am grateful for just knowing the way and trying to find forgiveness within myself so the healing can begin and I can start to see myself and my worth once again. Blessed be.